Hey everybody, I'm Keychain. Today I wanted to talk about some really cool things that I like in this game. Um, in specifically, I want to talk about the force events. So there's a couple of different types, and forgive me, I don't remember the names right now, but force of nature is one of them. And these seem to go back to back every week, seven day events. So it's like force of nature, force of, you know, water, force of desert, like things like that. Those are the, you know, it uses elements, right? The thing I like about this is it's a continuous, the tasks are the same. You hunt, you know, whatever special animal that, you know, you can get. And let me show you, let me, let me back up a little bit. During this event, when you hunt and kill creatures, you get these, you know, remains. Um, so this one is insect remains herb. And that's the one we need for this specific event. So you get these drops and you use them and it gives you resources and other things, spores, speed ups, etc. And it also occasionally gives you bait. You can use bait to summon a creature, um, a frog, a rabbit, a groundhog, things like that. And they give you additional rewards and you need to kill them for one of the days. So... The events for day one starts with hunting. This time it's the bunny. You've got to hunt the bunny 30 times. And you have to complete everything here to unlock the final tier reward, which most of the time you need um, to make it all the way through this, this reward tier. Now, the reason that I like this so much is because of these generic skin fragments that it gives... Uh, and I think I added them up earlier and you get something like 50, just over 50 of them if you, if you max this out. And that's fantastic. And the reason that I like that so much, along with these other rewards, you're also getting um, the decorations that increase, you know, small stat boosts and you can work on that. If you want to upgrade to premium. Now, I've not upgraded to premium yet. I'm... I'm kind of up in the air on this one. Um, the reason being, basically you're just buying a skin. Um, you can buy a skin outright from the store for $20, or you can buy this pack where you get the skin and some additional rewards, being the spores, the creature remains, some diamonds, and some resources. So comparing what you see here, Creature remains spores and a handful of resources and two tertiary eggs versus just outright buying a skin from the store. So let me see. I need to go to the actual store here if I can find it. Pack shop. That's what I'm looking for. Pack shop, ant hill skins, and decorations. So down here, most of these purple skins... Um, are $20 and you get the skin plus 4,000 diamonds and some resources. So you're getting less, but it's only if you're really into skins as far as purchasing them. Okay, now backtracking again, those fragments that I was just talking about, the reason that I like this event so much is it's basically giving you free castle skins. Or not castles, but anthills. So you're getting free anthill skins. These anthill skins I have, with the exception of the first one that I bought, are free ones that I've gained through that event. Uh, and the way you do that is when you find one that you want, after you've got your fragment saved up, you hit source. And if it's got this generic skin fragment purple there, once you get 100 of these, you can redeem this castle skin. Uh, and it's all done through free um, events in the game. Everything you can do during these um, the forces events are free like some of the things let's cover these like logging in every day hunting the rabbit gathering resources building using speed ups the one exception is using diamonds but if you're doing events you can have enough diamonds uh and i've just been using my diamonds to buy extra vip points um or if you activate a shield or buy like sand, um, mushrooms for leveling up your toxic mushroom, things like that, it all counts towards this. Being online counts. Uh, evolution speed ups, alliance helps, alliance donations, um, hunting creatures, hatching ants, getting special ants, all of these things 
help you get additional, you know, little resource rewards and these leaf of plant. So that's what you use um, when you have them to, you know, send your ants out to gather these leaves and they get points. So I really like this event. I like getting these castle skins for free. And then the other thing that's awesome about the castle skin system is there's actual bonuses. Okay. So right now I'm a two star on my Ant Hill star skill ups. When I get to three star, so 4,000, I think that's two. It's either two or four castle skins. Um, but when I star up to three star, I gain more resources from hunting on top of gaining extra gathering load, and then I get resource protection of 500,000. So it'll protect the resources I have. And that's pretty nice. Um, I think this is a cool system. And then if you don't want to, if you're out of skins to buy with these purple fragments, like late game, these ones here, you can actually use the fragments just for straight up experience. So that's another option. Um, overall, I just, I, I really like the event. Now, the other thing I want to talk about in this video, this is the first time I've seen this, but the Harvest Fur Cone event. Now, this event looks like both a lottery and a pay to win event. Now, the reason I think it's a lottery is in here. You have a chance when you shake this tree to get a 0.0001% chance to be able to choose one of these rewards on top. And these are good rewards, okay? You can choose between white velvet, this new Potomidae crab looking thing that has all soldier atta uh, attack, defense, march speed, etc. Um, very universal insect. You've got this item that lets you choose one of these five ants. And then if you're past all your special ants and they're all maxed out like late, late game, you get this mass muta mutation startup chest, which gives bioessence, special hyphas, um, all of the things you need to advance any of your genetic stuff. So you get to choose one of those if you hit that lottery. And then a little bit farther down, you can choose, you know, if that 2.99% chance, you can get some tertiary eggs or some of these other upgrade materials for cells. Mm -hmm. 12% um, chance to land this third place, 25% chance to land fourth place, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down. So pretty decent rewards, and I've seen it going across the bar that people actually win. Now, the pay-to-win piece of this is you only get two, three of these a day for free. Uh, actually, I should say four, because in the packs, in this one-time daily, there's another one here. So you get four free a day. So four free chances every day. Uh, and then you can purchase more of them in some of the packs. So it just added them into some of the packs that I buy already. So I did purchase the $5 special ant pack and I got, I think, three of these and my tertiary eggs and, and other stuff for $5. And then I don't think I'm going to buy any of these other ones. I am kind of low on resources right now, so I'm eyeballing this one, but I don't know if resources are actually worth buying in this game or not yet, so I'll figure that out shortly, but you know, basically not too bad. And then here, the other thing you can buy is if you're working on insects, you could buy this $5 pack to get three of these chances and a two-star insect. So, you know, this one goes for four days. Uh, I haven't shaken the tree yet. I'm probably going to wait till tomorrow and shake it 10 at a time. Um, but looking at the pay to win piece of this is see this reward for 200. So if you get to 200, you choose your reward. The same rewards in that grand prize are the rewards you get here. So the one I picked was this, oops, move that down. The one I picked was this special chest because you get to choose the ant you want. I like Dark Giant a lot, although I just recently saw a tier list and found out that it's not as amazing as I thought and that Shikari is way better. So I'll probably pick up a Shikari Master if I get lucky on this, but there's no way that I'm getting 200 of these um, little fur leaves in a couple of days. And then after the event ends, these go away. So this is a, you know, a one-time, you know, in four days, how much can you spend? So yeah, see this at the end? Um, 
the fur leaf will turn into expired fur leaf and it'll be used to obtain a small amount of resources. So if you really want to go hard for this, um, there's a lot of good rewards along the way. And if you got to 200, that's great. Um, I'm not going to spend extra for this event. I definitely can't afford to get 200 of these, um, especially looking at like a hundred dollar pack is, you know, is 40. So you'd have to spend $400 to be able to choose a special ant, which is way outside of my, um, <laughs> my price range for, you know, one, one specific choose your own ant because some of the ants in this pack, yes, they're rare. Um, but some of them aren't as rare. Uh, and actually these ones are all rare, so I'll take that back, but it's just too much for me. Um, I'll try and get lucky. I'll gamble a little bit. Uh, you know, having it in packs with additional things, I think is fantastic so that you can get a couple of extra chances for things that you're going to buy anyways. Like me getting three, three of my tertiary eggs for $5. I always, I'll always buy a pack for that. So, you know, that's a, a good deal. And I got some of these extra fur leaves on top of it. Okay. Um, I think that that is it for this video. Uh, remember to hit the like and subscribe and let me know which castle skins you like, which ones you're picking. Um, the ones I've picked so far is I picked this octopus looking guy, you know, the snowman with the blue butterfly, this Kade, uh, Akihi one. This one was one of the $10 castle skins that I actually purchased. It was my first one, purchased it the first week just so that I was different from the others. This one I recently unlocked uh, as well with the free stuff. And then, of course, regular default. But this one I just unlocked today, this Call of the Drought. And I like it. So I haven't seen any of these March units yet. I don't know how to get these outside of, you know, this one was in the surprise rows. I don't know if they're going to make these accessible um, outside of, you know, super pay to win. Because these also have stats so gaining these castle skins is going to get you um attack so you know there are bonuses there i don't know if these chat ones have anything they don't and avatars don't so okay uh rambling on again like i normally do at the end of my videos but uh again thank you for watching remember to hit the like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video